There we go, we have jobs, yay! Right, we're in Salzburg. Mm -hmm. uh, price, where should we go? Where should we go? Down I, to you! I have Clemon. Clemon? Oh, should, we, should we head to Clemon? Uh, how much uh, is it paying? Uh, 15 grand. I've got one to Toulouse. To Toulouse? Yeah. So you're going to Toulouse? Yeah, Toulouse. Yeah. Um, yeah, to, yeah, to Toulouse, yeah. To Toulouse, yeah, yeah. Gavd, Gavd. <laughs> Turn your mic off. <laughs> 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 okay, mm. I've only got Clement in France. Uh, Uraskable says he has a job to Klagenfurt. Uh, where are we meeting? Well, we're looking at going to the middle of France, Matthew. And, uh, when we cross the, the Swiss border into France, I'll explain why. Well, I can drive so far, really. Uh, well, actually, what, what's on the way? Lyon. Lyon, yeah. I've got to lose. And then Montpellier, then Where is Toulouse? Where is, oh, Toulouse is down there. So why don't you guys get Toulouse and then when I get into Clermont, I'll see if I can pick up a job to Toulouse or somewhere. Well, that's a good idea, yeah? Yeah. Not Have you? Think, we've all got nothing to lose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be coming out oh, now. Dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's down to me, not you. <laughs> I know, that's a bad one, that one. Yeah, terrible CK, but hey. Um, <laughs> so, Tulu. Uh, have you got Tulu as well then, CK? Yeah. I think I think that's where we're going then. I'm off to Clermont. You guys are going to carry on to Tulu, and I'll see if I can pick up something over there. Right, let me take this job. Let's get the show on the road. Let's do it. Let's get the row on the show. And I should now appear Pong in Salzburg. So Matthew, um, make your way to the south of France and we'll meet you somewhere there. Right, I have my load. Should we have a look at the truck? Whilst we wait for the others because they've all got to go. It's just a boring transnet truck. Boring. Oh, that's hazards. Don't want hazards, I want lights. Why do why do I not actually have any? We need to, ah, there we go. We need to open that first. Side lights, headlights. Uh, right lights was what? Did I set them up? Right there. Okay. Right, let's get in the truck. We can see. Ooh, truck pinball. What do you mean truck pin? Oh, because of how I drive. Yeah, thanks, Fab. Here comes Gavt right now. Turn them on. I don't know how. Is it F? Possibly. Yes, that's sped them up. Let's turn them off. Way, let's go. Alright, so there's Gavt in his truck. Uh, Matthew's got to go. Uh, where are you going to, Matthew? Right. Are we actually still in Salzburg, or are we like now miles out? No, we're still in Salzburg. Oh, I see. Right, there's somebody down here in in a yard opposite me. Uh, so I'm going to turn left here and wait on this road. And then we can all form the convoy and get a move on. Yeah. Any sign of jelly bean tonight? Don't think so. Okay. I mean, he's not in chat either, so. Yeah. I know he had a, I know he had a late one last night. Ah, okay. So, um. The the, 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 the the other thing that... Uh, actually, I've got a few bits that I want to talk to you guys about tonight as well. Um, 
your mum wants help. That's not a problem, Matthew. When you get a chance, feel free to come and join us. Um, just ask where we are and where we're headed, and we'll we'll keep you up to date. Um, right, so is that gaffed pulling in behind me? Yeah. Up next to me? Yeah, that looks like gaffed. Let, let, let's, 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 let's do this. Let's just do that. Alright, there we go. Haha, <laughs> I can't get out now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> of course it's no collision, isn't it? Oh, I yeah. forgot about that. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't knock Gavd off the road anymore. Shame. Definitely Captain, that's shame. curb abuse. I'm just, I'm pulling out the way. Actually, you're technically right. The curb isn't made to take the weight of the truck, but... Um, so, yeah, I've been looking at one or two things, and, um, uh, yeah, we've got somebody joining us. Who's joining us? I can't tell, because I've, I've, I've got Gav's truck in the way. That looks like no time. No, it's CK. Besides, I can't even see you lot. Where are you? Well, I'm sitting there waiting. I've just literally left my job and I was waiting for you, but I don't can't even see you. Uh, we're all gathering on the road. <laughs> well, I'm on the road. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me bring up the map. Hold on. Right, so we are at the western... Oh, is it Salz... Okay, so we're at the western end of Salzburg. Salzburg is a tiny town with like one straight road down it. Right. Okay. Well, I'm def I'm in the opposite direction to you. Oh, yeah. that's fine. I sh it's all right. I shall turn round. That's fine. Is, is your find you. is yours taking you out uh, out to the? It, it is. It's taking me east. out the other way, but it's not a problem. I shall turn round. Thank you. And then Nell Simon will be with us in a moment. Uh, Mr. Harrison says hi, Nell Sam. Hello, Mr. Harrison. Right, so we're just waiting for the stragglers to turn up. <laughs> and then we shall be on the road. Um, so, very quickly in chat, who would want a Captain Jenks t shirt? Slash jumper, slash baseball cap. I would. I would, says Gaft. Mm. Anybody else? Uh, oh, Gaft has moved on. Anybody else? Right. Where's Nelson? Are you sure you're in Salzburg, Nelson? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You definitely <laughs> Uh, Fab Diva says it's not her thing. Just because I found a website that will... Um... Who have I just driven through? <laughs> CK. <laughs> right, Nelson's catching up as well. Let's go. Um, I found a website that will help to make them and rather than needing to make them in like a big batch of unknown sizes, uh, they'll do it to order. Can you go at the back now, Sam? Huh? I mean, can, can you? Can I go at the back? Because I'm. You can. Slow. Yeah, I'm just worried because I might <laughs> reverse into it. Doesn't really matter, does it? But anyway. Ah, that, that's why. I just thought you might be trying to get the furthest that you can away from my driving. <laughs> no, 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 it's because the truck. Is that like red bubble? Um, I'm not sure, Fab. I don't know what red bubble is. It's a bit like Uber Prince, apparently, but I've um I, I don't really know what that one is either. Right, let, let's go. Let, 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 oh dear, the, the steering on this daft truck is uh, quite light. Do, do you know if there are interior lights on, on the trucks? Can I turn on like the interior light? Unlock the 
unlocked my diff. I have unlocked my diff. Or did you type that before I did? I don't know where the... Uh where the symbol for it is on this. Uh, Mr. Harrison said, Hi CK, I popped by Sweden on ETS2 and all was fine. Good to hear. And he's not sure about the t-shirt. I just thought if, if, I, if I set it up then it's an option there. And it doesn't have to be a t-shirt, it can be... They, they do a number of things. Gavt, why are you waiting? I just want you lot to go ahead. No, I need somebody in front. Oh, uh, okay. No, Sam's going like front. It's like a big guy. We're following you, aren't we? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Okay, well, I'll go in front. I, I can direct. Alright, I'll go in front. Alright, then. There we go. We've got Gavit in front. Who I'm sure is breaking the speed limit. <laughs> If you keep breaking yeah. speed limits, I'm going to remove you from being a, uh, a representative for my company, you know. Hey, I'm not breaking no speed limits. I'm still at 55. Maybe, maybe I could do, like, caps with Captain Jenks haulage on them. Gav can be called Captain Speedo. Okay. <laughs> 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 is, is that the, the opposite of James May, Captain Slow? <laughs> yeah. Me, 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 <laughs> maybe if Gavd and James May were, were sort of like in a truck together, then they'd be Captain Normal Speed. Yeah. Hmm. You're showing interest in two Euro routes for TS. Uh, what in what what Euro routes would they be, Mr. Harrison? Let's get the road on the shroud, on the shroud. Let's get the road on the shroud. Let's get the road on the shroud. How is anybody? I, I, I've, I've just realised, I've not actually been on for a week, have I? How is everybody? How's your week gone? Alright. Yeah? Mm. It's been good. Good. Uh, what about in chat? How's everybody's week been? And again, I apologise for not being on on Monday. I was ill in bed and I didn't go to work. I couldn't therefore come and try and stream. Yeah. Uh, the Abula and the Rosa. Okay. Apparently one of them's a Swiss narrow gauge. I've never heard of them. Your askable sap is waiting just past Zurich. So he's gonna be joining us in a moment or two. Hmm. Oh. oh yeah, no, because we're going through Sweden. Switzerland, you mean? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> uh, a little fact for you about Switzerland. It's nowhere near Sweden. No. <laughs> no. Sweden is, is... No, Switzerland is one of them countries that I've been to, but only to an airport. Yeah. So... I've... Yeah. I've Denmark's the same for me in Norway. I've only been to basically Oslo Airport just to catch another flight, and I've been to Copenhagen Airport just to catch another flight, and that's yeah. basically. I've it. been to Toronto in Canada just to change flights. Yeah. I've been to Brussels in Belgium. I've been to Zurich to change flights, and I've been to Frankfurt and change flights. And Washington, but I was going to to America anyway. But yeah, the only other airport that I've probably done that was Dallas. I went and changed flights. <laughs> yeah. Everywhere else is I've actually left. Both are very scenic railways. 
That's what's drawing Ben in. The, the... You've got one of those, haven't you, now, Sam? Yeah, I have, yeah. I've got the, um... I think it was the... One, it? Yeah. It's, uh... Oh, yeah, they're good. They're good routes. The, the thing that draws me away from them kind of routes is, quite simply, I don't understand the signaling. I don't get it in any way, shape or form. So at that point, why... Actually, would... on those routes, it's not complicated. Isn't it? No. Well, does it have PZB? No. CIFA? No. Well, you should be alright then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what about speed-based signals? Because that's another thing that confuses me. No, they're quite good. And, and um, the other thing that's good about them is they have something different with, like, request stops. Oh, okay. So oh, until you, you actually don't know where you're going to stop until you get there. Oh. So it just adds a little bit of, um, you know, difference to the game. Do, yeah. yeah. Do, does that mean then that you can play the same scenario but stop at different stops? I don't think so. I think you'll find once you played it once, it's the same Okay. Uh, request stops that will be in there. But then that, that that's no different to, say, um, the doing the West Somerset route properly because there's two request stops on that. Yeah. Um, yeah. No PZB. Uh, it doesn't have those. Uh, Fab Diva, yes you can what? What, what can, did I ask can you do something? I don't know. Plus it does have tu those tutorial scenarios. Uh, they randomised somewhere. Okay, Fab, you're going to have to explain that a little bit better, please, I'm confused. Are you saying that, yes, you can play the uh, same scenario and stop in different places? I think that's what she's saying. Because if so, then that is genius. You're also looking for a different challenge. Uh, I mean, it, could be like, you know, it could be like that, because, I mean, I mean, it is a Thompson route. So sometimes Thompson do sort of like put scripting and stuff in their trains and routes and things. You know, it's like Tread Valley was a Thompson route and then they have the Class 350 with the random failures and the announcements that you can do on the train as you're driving. Them, so. Yeah, that's true. I'd like to, to learn how to do that kind of scripting in a route. For a request stop, it has a buzzer in the cab or line side signal. Oh, okay. Hi. Oh. Oh, it's just some guy. Just another real player. Just another <laughs> real player who's decided that to, 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 to interrupt the stream. Anyway, pass back over him. Captain, do I have the Windermere route? Yes, I do have the Windermere route. Uh, where's Gavd gone? He's probably in France by now, isn't he? No. Oh, it's down the road. Over a bridge, trucks on a bridge. Trucks on a bridge is nowhere near as good as trains on a bridge. And I do wish that these people would stop driving through my truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving them room in the other lane for them to pass. I know it's no collision, but you could at least try and drive properly. Otherwise, what's the point? Let me get out of his way. <laughs> there we go, lunatic. Road rage. Road rage him. Oh, now we got a car trying to drive uh, for us. Yeah. Now we got some cars. Oh, right. Oh, they're all out tonight, then. Yeah. Are they, are they following our convoy? 
no idea. I think they're on the wrong server. I think they should be on the other. Yeah, they're getting confused there. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he probably went through and threw me and thought, oh, I thought he was going to fall off the road. <laughs> One of them's even got a car. That back at you. Road rage in truck sim. <laughs> <laughs> I've lived in London too long. Oh, and that's Gavd. Thanks, Gavd. What? You could have gone round. You're spoiling the illusion here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll slow down then. Stay in front. Yeah, hopefully if train sim ever had multiplayer, they'd actually have a no collision server, so the train could literally just drive through you on the on the track. <laughs> um, so you wouldn't. Well, I I kind of like the idea that they're already sort of like you you load in and then you pick a train that you want to drive. Yeah. The the the, the only thing with that is for start off they'd need a lot more services. Mm. Because with with like how few services there are, um, it's going to be quite difficult. And then they'd need a way of if you're driving it, it's locked to you. So mm. like, who gets there first gets to drive it. <laughs> yeah. So you have little men run into the train or women. Yeah. Little avatars, quick, quick, and all like rushing. Well, trying well, to get there first. <laughs> I, I'm talking. I'm talking about like TSW. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, but maybe for multiplayer they'd actually make these little like avatars which would be like little figures that you could actually see, so you oh. could actually see your friends walking around. That, that would be pretty cool. Otherwise it would be a bit silly because you wouldn't be able to see another player because how would you, apart from how would you know where they were if they were on another platform, they wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to see them. So you'd have to have like a little stick man or some avatar or something actually walked around to you know like they do in other games so yeah um, could be quite good Fab Diva Le Mans the rail version yeah sounds like good fun Children behave. How are we misbehaving, Ben? <coughs> so I still don't actually know what I'm going to be driving. To um, I still don't actually know what I'm going to be driving to. No, not driving. Riding to York. Right. I, I believe we're now in France. Well, it, it, it looks like surprise. you are. No, not yet, because we, st we still haven't passed Zurich. Mm. Say that again, sorry, CK. Well, I just mm. think of it as a bit of a surprise, you know, just wait until Saturday and then you'll know what you're going to be going on. Yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of excited because um, is it going to be a HST? Or I mean, is it... you never know. They could have hired a pacer. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I, I I think I'm just gonna have to do like a York to um, York kind of like ju just one station and back, just to say that I've been on a pacer. <laughs> All right now that that other silly convoy's left us so. Yeah. Um, but then again, I think I no, I think I've gone wrong. Why? Because <laughs> it's now telling me to turn around. Oh, you what? <laughs> I've gone straight on and it's telling me to turn around. I think I'm supposed to turn off with them. And the two guys behind me have followed rather than following the maps. <laughs> <laughs> I, have no I have no idea where I'm going now. <laughs> Alright, just follow me then. Oh dear. Yeah, but me and you aren't going the same place. Who's that? Sorry. 
which is why we're following you. Yeah. We're following you because we're going to your stop first. Uh, Captain, who am I travelling with to York? I'm travelling with me and me lonesome. Uh, Fab Diva reckons I'm going to go in, go in Moggy's stolen gronk. If so, it's going to take me a long time to get from here to York. Kamikaze aft. Hello, welcome. Welcome to the stream. And Chris, hello, welcome. Whoa, yeah, we can turn around here. Can we turn around? Yeah. Ah, good. Everybody turning around. One point turn. Yeah. Don't, not too much, not too much. We don't want to go back up that carriage. There we go. Right, we're on the road again. Let's go. Catch Where's back up the gaft. Maybe CK listened and took the right turn in. <laughs> no, I mean. Yeah, no, that laugh tells me that's what CK did. Well, what happened was, was I followed the other guys thinking they were you, and then you suddenly went, oh, no, they've gone the wrong way. <laughs> I thought, oh, maybe I've gone the right way then. Because <laughs> my GPS was pointing to go the right way. Yeah. But obviously. So I saw some green dots go off, and then I sort of, well, and a blue dot, and I thought, well, how come, you know, how come there's a green dot that's gone off the other way? I thought, <laughs> I was, uh, oh, genius. I, I've managed to work out how I can tell when I've guessed what CK is doing. If, uh -huh. if I've managed to, f to, f to figure you out, you have like a cheeky little laugh. It's quite funny. Right. I just have to not laugh now then. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've got my own ways of detecting what you guys are all up to. <laughs> right, somebody just subscribed, but the, the bot hasn't told me who. So, uh, not subscribed, followed. If it's a subscribe, I'm pulling over to find out who it is. Um, I'm just parking up the road where the next rest area is, and I'll just wait for you guys to come past. Oh, okay. So if if someone in chat can just tell me who hit the follow button, whoever it is, thank you very much. But I'd like to do it formally and properly. Uh, oh, it's Kamikaze. Uh, thank you very much, Kamikaze. Kamikaze, aft for your follow. Welcome to the uh, to the to the channel and to the group. Matthew's back. Hello, Matthew. We're still bound for Zurich, heading to France. Actually, I'm just going to carry on. It yeah. could take us all night, Matthew, the way Captain's driving. He's now following. We don't. We don't talk about the way I drive. Hey, let's 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 use both sides of the road, shall we? Right, where actually have you gone, CK? Well, I'm sure you'll catch up with me. I mean, I was quite a way ahead of you guys. Oh, okay. You must be quite far down this road then. Yeah. Right, we've got a real player coming in the other lane who's just blinded me with his lights because that's a nice way to drive. Uh, playing in Europe 2? No, we're in Europe 4. We're on the no collision server in the hopes that it'll keep my damage down. Um. If you have a look on my GPS, you'll see that I've got minus 128,933 1, pounds in my account. And that's because I keep writing my truck off. So uh, we are hoping that being in a non-collision server will encourage me not to collide. Yeah, you can up with me now, Gav. I can see you coming. Well, I'm just going past the rest stop, so... Yeah, yeah I'm just going along about 40, so we'll catch up a bit at some point. Which country? I believe we're still in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Yeah, we started in Ox Austria and then we're now just going through Switzerland now, I see. Oh, is that what we left? We left Austria? Yeah. That makes sense. You're in a £138,000 profit. Well, Mr. Harrison, you're driving with a controller. I bet when I get my controller, I, I, nail, I nail this driving malarkey. Speeding offence! Way! Why not? Because I don't like to, I I don't like to keep workers safe. Uh, he's on his way. Okay. Uh, you seem to have got your list of follow channels. Uh, uh, oh, you've lost your list. Uh, I didn't didn't spot that problem when I logged in, Chris. Ouch! Two million. Oh, you put you don't. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, the the aim of the stream is to try and do it from scratch. We we're trying to run run our business. So we haven't downloaded the uh, the, the the online profile. You were saying something, CK? No, it was just a truck in front of me that looked like it jackknifed. Oh, oh, and I missed it. Well, no, you might go past it in a minute. Right, two real oh, players on the other side. The other one's not made it up the hill. Say my better car. Oh, dear. Oh, is he going to sort it? Should we stop and watch? Nah, let's not. <laughs> he, he looks as though he's sorted it going down the bank now. <laughs> I thought you were going to say you were going to jump out of the truck and give him a hand. Yeah, well, but we all know that, that old man jumps out like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that I'm an expert at dealing with jackknives the amount of times I've done it. Yeah, right. I think what probably happened is he probably realised he was going the wrong way and then turned at the last minute and then sort of like, well, yeah. Know. Go oh. past the turn in CK. Can't imagine you want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I don't know anybody who, who misses turnings. Yeah. have no idea. See you guys are slowly catching up. Yeah, I've got you guys in front of me. Don't scrape the barrier. All servers should be non collision zoned. No, I I don't agree. I think that some of them are that, that there's quite something to being able to not gaffed off the road. It's quite funny. Um, I don't think they should, but then I, I'm not quite sure that they moderate it properly to make sure that there are no trolls. I don't think that trolling should be tolerated on any kind of level. The only good, the only good thing about this server is they probably obviously don't need to moderate it so much. Yeah. Because the only accidents are going to be where the players actually done it themselves, rather yeah. than someone else causing something. Bank cars also. I don't know why cars have so much power over trucks. Because in real life, of course, that wouldn't happen. Uh, a truck would completely ruin a car. <laughs> But the thing is, if you want to take a risk and you want to drive an EU2 knowing that there's going to be people that want to knock you off the road, then that's up to you really. So if you yeah. do then get a lot of damage, then well, 
you took that risk because you knew what that server was like. If you want to go on a server about cars, like mm. EU3, then that's fine too. Yeah. And obviously then you've got to pay attention when you're overtaking people to make sure you don't hit people. Whereas on this server, well, you can like try and drive realistically, but obviously if you accidentally... If, if, if you're, you're, you're a can, complete noob... You, yeah. You haven't got to worry about the other person then trying to throw you off. Yeah, exactly. I think there's like, so I think they're all for everybody. I think there's one that caters for, for any sort of niche that you want. If you want to be someone that wants to knock someone off of a car, well, you've got one for that. Mm. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Maybe you want to have a special t shirt to say, I went on Euro 2 and survived. You know what I mean? <laughs> or maybe that's maybe that's the challenge, you know, people would like to go on that with an expensive job just to see if they how much they'll lose and try and obviously the less damage you get then obviously they think that's a success. Yeah, can can you get all the way from the from Venice up to on Oslo? Yeah. Mega job being with no damage. About being bashed, yeah. Yeah. It's weird, uh, yes, true, good question. It's weird, but they're not so popular. What do you mean, kamikaze? Callis Disberg is a challenge. Yeah, oh, yeah, the Disberg road, Yay. I mean, that's the nightmare. I mean, that's a nightmare. I mean, if you try and do that in Euro 2, it'd be... That's, uh, that's something you should just experience, just to experience it. <laughs> but then that's great if you've got... You know, it's great if you've got, like, a lot of money in your account. So you know that if you cause 100 grand damage to your truck and trailer, well, that's fine, because it's just mm -hmm. a drop in the ocean. But if you're just a player that where, obviously, you know, you haven't... Hundred thousand is a lot of money to you. Then obviously it's not the server for you to play on. But if you've got like all those money hacks or like a profile that's been set up with loads of money on it already, then obviously it's not a bad server that you can play on. Um, guys, I have an announcement. Sorry to interrupt you, CK. I've huh? just had a warning. You've had a warning. Yeah, I'm running out of fuel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I thought you meant like third, like. Got in contact with you and said you haven't been crashing enough on an uncollision server. Oh, we're gonna have to ban you for two weeks. No, no, no. <laughs> I've, I, 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 I'm running out of fuel. Right. Yeah, okay. We're, we're coming towards one in a minute. How, How much have you got? I'm on the red. Right. Okay. But if you do, if you press I on your keyboard, you can go through all the stuff on the steering wheel, so it'll tell you exactly how many miles you've got left on oh. your fuel you've got left. That's cool, but I can't read it. Oh. It's so small, I genuinely cannot read it from here. Yeah. I suppose it depends on the, uh, on the truck, I guess. Cause on you know, the... you know the day now. Yeah, don't worry, you'll make it oh, anyway. I've, I've, a... I've seen it, yeah. Yeah. You easily make that. Yeah. Um, the, the other servers are not so popular like EU2. Yes, and that's one of the reasons why we like the quieter server. Just uh, g gives you that little bit of peace and quiet. Sorry, CK, I'm gonna cut you up. It's alright. Not to worry. Don't crash into me, yeah? Alright, here we are at the petrol station to get some fuel. And we turn the engine off. Let's fill it up. Morning, yeah. you did, you, did I miss the garage? Uh, no, I was passing CK and so I missed the entrance, but we made it. You do find anyway with these trucks that when the low fuel comes on, you've still got about 100 miles or so left. Yeah. With my truck, because the fuel tank's so big, when I get a low fuel warning, I've still got about 400 miles left in it. <laughs> it's just because it just reaches the point because it like, holds like 1400 litres or something. Yeah. Mm. So you can just carry on going and going like for ages. Yeah, ten percent. Yeah, exactly. So, right, I think we can all go now. Uh, yeah, sorry, I didn't tell you that. 
Yeah, we're, we're on the road again. Entering a tunnel. Yeah, 10%, so... Still got quite a bit left. I was playing them a few weeks ago in uh, multiplayer and I ran out of fuel and then I literally was coasting down like a, a road yeah. that was going slightly downhill and I managed to literally coast into the petrol station and stop. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was. I was actually worried when I was coasting into the, the garage because I thought if I miss this, mm. obviously I was just coasting and I thought if I don't break at the right time, I'm either going to stop before the green marker or after it and then I'll yeah. be that and it's service centre time, so luckily I'd sort of managed to stop. I just thought of Formula One and thought, well, I've just got to stop in the right place. And yeah. Yeah. I've got a long message. I cannot play ETS without connection broken every five minutes. Oh. I'm tired of this skyboard band. On 8th of November, you go with Virgin. What do you mean by that? Uh, that's Kamikaze. Oh, okay. Um, we're with Vodafone, which is surprisingly good. Uh, He's now following. Officer Hugo, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's surprising how good Vodafone have been. Yeah. I got quite a high stream output and very high download speed. So we we rarely get buffering. If, I mean like right now I'm I'm uploading and downloading I've got like a number of websites open cuz I'm downloading the stream to my mobile device to watch it and get the chat. Uh, I've got the dashboard open in case I need to look at anything in more detail. Uh, mm -hmm. Same with Streamlabs and Moobot. And Mrs. Jenks is currently doing some research on a mobile and watching YouTube. Oh, train! Train, train! Oh, TGV! Nice! <laughs> train! <laughs> train on trucks! <laughs> I like it when you see trains on trucks. Yeah. Right, so is it me or have we crossed into uh, the land of the moustache and the onion necklace? <laughs> no, not yet. No, because we still haven't passed Geneva. Okay, not yet. No, so, not, not, not far though. Not far though. No. Uh, Vodafone, it's rubbish in Birmingham. Oh, okay. Didn't know it was that bad. Press tab, check how many MS I have. I have 19. 23. I don't know what the MS means, but that's <coughs> what I have. I think the lower it is, the better, obviously. I think the higher it is, then the more... Um, then obviously it sort of takes your truck longer to update its position or something like that. Yeah. Ah, okay. So obviously they say the lower it is the better. I don't yeah. know. I, I, I downloaded this when Gav said can we play multiplayer trucks. So, uh... I mean I, like when we were doing the South Africa America server I think we were getting like a hundred and something weren't we? Yeah. Okay. Gav, you remember? And then it would say that you know there was getting to the point where we could replay the game because I think if it gets too low they they um they kick kind of, yeah well I think it's just not they kick off I think I think it's just the servers obviously think where well, you're not updating your position yeah enough, so then you can cause accidents because another player could like hit into you because one minute you'd be in the place and next minute you wouldn't be so ah uh, okay well Kamikaze said that whatever it was, 19 was really good. So, he said that he used to get 100 with Sky and so he'd get kicked oh. off the server. Yeah, I used to get a in Sweden, so oh. Oops, I got stuck. And apparently it's milliseconds of ping. I've got stuck now, Sam. You've got <laughs> stuck? I'd give you a push, but I'd go right through you. <laughs> oh, I, didn't know. I know, it's my fault. I kind of forgot. 
got that. Right, bonjour, here we are in the France. And we have one thing to say, don't we, Gavd? Yes, Captain. And what's that? Yeah. We. No, you need to say it, yeah, you need to say it to me. <laughs> you need to say it's time for we. we no. Wee -wee. Yeah, 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 time for we, we, yeah. <laughs> wee -wee. <laughs> time for we, we. Yeah, it's time for we, we. What should we say when we get to France? Vive la France! Yeah. Um, yes. In the Steam sale, a certain somebody who keeps dropping hints managed to buy me some new DLC, which is why we're we're here in France. So thank you very much, Gavd. Can we throw some GGs up in the chat for Gavd, who bought me the the uh, the v, the, the Vive la France uh, DLC? Oui, oui, je parle français. What should we say when we answer France? La baguette. La baguette. <laughs> Sim says, Gavd, why did you do this, you monster? <laughs> but the good thing now is everywhere that you're driving, it's all new to you, Captain Jenks. You haven't yep. seen it before. No, I've not seen any of this. Yeah. So thank you very much for the for the new DLC, Gavd. Mm-hmm. And we go. The only French lad in here you just noticed. Well, you are Scotsman. You're not even proper French. But you could probably talk it, being from Canada. Hold on, I'm doing 51 because I'm trying to keep up with Gavd, but the speed limit is 31. <laughs> Gavd? Yeah? You're not going to be a representative anymore. Why? Speeding, that's why. I'm not speeding. Uh, you're not now. <laughs> no, because the speed limit's come back up to 50. Yeah. I'll like you to I'll like you to some voice we get with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not I'm not speeding. Me? Speed? Never. <laughs> yeah, never. Look, I'm only going 30. You probably get used to that, right? Your job, don't you, Captain James? Well, in some voices. Yeah. I, I can see through it. I never did it. I never did anything, sir. <laughs> I can see through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the thing is, you see, is Captain Jenks sees many gaps every day. Yep. <laughs> many, many, many gaps. <laughs> <laughs> Mind the gaft. <laughs> 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 Oh dear! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I bet you hear that a lot as well, don't you? No, because I don't use the, I don't use the the tube. Oh right, okay. Uh, <laughs> but that's funny. Yeah. Right, more loan instalments have been taken out. I need this job to pay. I tell you. How many miles have you got left now, then, Captain Jones? Uh, 166. Cool. What about you? Oh, we got about 400 and something. Oh, quite a few then. Yeah. Ouch. At least, you do, at least you're keeping your truck on the road. Yeah, apart from the fact that Mr. Harrison's given me a crash that I then read and thought, why is he giving me the crash and then smacked into a lamppost? <laughs> Yeah, so it was almost like he obviously knew that you were going to crash. Mr. I think Mr. Harrison caused that one. Uh. Oh, well. Are I you? think I'm pulling an inflatable inflatable bulldozer now, Sam. Why? <laughs> it just seems to be like flying left and right as if it's, <laughs> it's inflatable. Doesn't seem to like have much weight to it. It's just flicking around. 
Yeah, I have noticed that a couple of times when he, he seems to just quite happily <laughs> like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, like that. <laughs> um, Ianil, uh, Iv Ivanil, we are driving to Clemon first, and mm -hmm. then the the lads have got jobs to Tulu, so we're going to change and go down to Tulu, which is. Uh, we're testing out the the new Vive la France uh, DLC that I got bought by Gavd. Um, so yeah, that that's where we where we are, where we're going. Um, there's something else I wanted to say, but never mind. Have I done my short one first? Yeah, I have Fab. That's why there's no music. Uh, the mods are harsh, Mister Scotsman. It's your fault that the mods are harsh. Now, Sam, you're a mod. Do you think the mods are harsh? Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you're not a mod, then you can watch my every movement like a hawk. I, I, I think that the mods w watch my every movement better than a hawk. Mrs. Jenks is putting the heating on, so she's telling me to move my cup off the radiator, and she caused me to crash. <laughs> uh, Nelson is being forced to lie by me. Don't listen to him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, CK. Thank you. <laughs> it's not my fault. Okay. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm glad they've moved that barrier back and given you more space to swing around these corners. Alright, let's go. Well, I was hoping for damage-free run. Uh, what yeah, damage? Sort of jump up like a pony. What damage have we got? How do I check? Excellent. Four percent on the trailer, fifteen on the cabs. So what I might do is see if I can get that fixed. Well, uh, would it be cheaper to get it fixed or just take it to the job? I don't no, know. I would get it fixed. Well, what's the cheaper option? Get it fixed. Because if I go to get it fixed, the employer pays for it, doesn't he? Mm hmm. You're still in a quick job, aren't you? Yeah. So, yeah, he would definitely be paid. Uh, Mr. Harrison says GG, Mrs. Jenks. Thank but, you, yeah. Ben. But you have to understand, you still have to pay for the trailer damage. Yeah, I know that. So, which to me, four and four percent could be about four grand. Which to me, oh gosh, that went red. That so went if it, red. If it, if it was me, I would get your truck service. Right, we'll stay there then, Gav, because I'm going to head to the services whilst we're here in Lyon. It's not okay. too far away. Yeah, I uh, think we go past anyway. But the GPS takes you past the spanner. Yeah. Anyway. That was that was a crash. Apparently, the mods are disciples of Moobot. Guys, this year, do you think we'll see snow? I really don't know. Right. Uh, I think you pay for trailer damage as well, uh, Instasim. Right. I'm going to be really awkward here now. You guys are going to love me. Oh, I hear it's uh, locking up time. It is. It must be around 8 o'clock. Yeah. yeah. 8.06 Right Trailer damage comes out of your income That Yeah, that's true 
But I need to get as much income as I can. That's Snow it what's now, Sam. That's it, you're locked in now. You're That's it. <laughs> right, let's go. Well, locked in rather than locked out for change. I wonder if they've noticed. Nope. <laughs> well, I know. Well, I know you should go off about your trailer. <laughs> yeah, but you're just sat behind the trailer. You just say, when will he move it? Oh, that's alright. Right. We'll just wait for you anyway. That's uh, repair upgrade. Service. Repair. Ten grand. That's definitely cheaper to do here, I think. Mm -hmm. Does that come off your balance, though? No. Nope. don't know. We'll find out. If so, then I'm only getting five grand for this job. Right, let's go back. Oh, I got green. The only thing is, how do I now get it without getting a wrong way of fence? Too late, I've got it now. Stop, 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 stop! <laughs> this, this was not a good plan. <laughs> Seemed like a great plan at the time. It really wasn't. Oh, great. I've now got to park on top of a sick game. <laughs> Thank you. It's alright, I'll, I'll move back. I hope Nelson's not moving. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. There we go. Load back up. And we've missed the traffic lights. Uh, it has started to be very cold uh, very early this year. Mm. Very early. How's everyone adjusting to the t to the new time zone? Scotsman wants to know. I, All I, right. I find it easier in the autumn than I do in the spring. Yeah, I found it. Yeah, I found it easy. Yeah. Cause, cause you get the extra hour in bed, so you always feel as though you're waking up early. Yeah. I mean, at, at the moment, I'm waking up comfortably on time for work, but then when in the spring, it's always a chore to get up because you're you're getting up an hour earlier. I don't know why they still do it. I I think that we should have standard time now. There's no need to keep changing it all the time. Yeah, I think they should scrap it. Well, they can't because of the farmers. Why? It's got nothing to do with the farmers. What did they do before the 30s when they introduced it? I think they used to have localised time zones, didn't they? Uh, which is why, like, which is why, like, train timetables. You know, when you went to Cornwall, then you'd have like a different time. Like the sun would, it would be like five or six minutes difference or something. No, it it can be up to half an hour between. London yeah, but Cornwall. I mean, yeah, but what I mean is, obviously they had different, you know, like they had different watches. It's yeah. Really crazy. So. But but then the rail, the railway, very early on, standardised that. Mm. Yeah, but I'm just saying as an example of how bad it could be if we didn't have any, because then you would be like, oh. Yeah, train timetables would become extremely difficult. Yeah. After you, Captain. Thank you. I, I I got why you pulled in that time. It's warm here. Uh, you had a jumper. It, it was World War. Oh, sorry. It was World War One that they started adjusting the time. Not World War Two. Mm. Wrong war. Uh, Russia, all the train times are Moscow time. Um, obviously, here it's all Greenwich Meridian. I've stood on the Meridian line. Yeah. Yeah, I've done that as well. Down at Greenwich. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I, I, out of all the people who said that, why is Gav the least convincing? And also at the Bluebell Railway, they've got the uh, line as well. Have they? Yeah, if you stand on one of the stations in the platform, they got a sign and it says that the Greenwich Meridian line comes through this point or something. Oh, okay. 
Ooh. Well, it, do, it does kind of like go all the way down the globe. Yeah, that's what I mean. But obviously, the Blue Bell Railway. There's a. I think it's when you watch all the stations. There's a. There's a station in Kent as well where they've actually got it on the subway, like the line painted. Yeah. So you can actually. So you can kind of like say, well, I've stood in it in Greenwich, and I've stood in it in Kent, and I've stood in it in Sussex. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually quite cool. And then right. You can go to France and do the same thing. Oh, I stood on it here. Ma Matthew is now in Zurich. Oh. Matthew, we're we're in France. We're we're almost at Clermont. Yeah. Coming up to the trouble now. How many time zones does Russia cover? I think it doesn't. It cover seven. Yeah, it must cover a lot. I guess quite I, a large um large know, area, isn't it? Yeah, west. from east to west. Yeah. Oh dear, I don't want to hit the barrier. No, you don't. Stop. I mean, you've got, I mean, you've got it from like where the Bering Sea is, where it nearly joins up with Alaska, and then you've got it all the way across, basically. To us. Yeah, almost. So I mean, so it covers quite a lot. I think it probably covers more than what the, the United States does with time zones. So yeah, a lot more. And the United States covers, is it? I I know it's got three separate times. You've got East Time, Central Time, and West Time. Um, yeah. But I know some of them run, run ahead and behind what they're supposed to. So I actually think the States covers, is it five, maybe six? Yeah, well, then if you count Hawaii in as well, which is another state, then yeah. that's another time zone as well. So. Uh, apparently, Russia covers 11 time zones. So, so you literally can have an 18 hour day in Russia. Eleven times. If it's cook, actually you can have a 23 hour day in Russia. If you think about it. That's probably why when you get the um, Rust map for um, Euro Truck, which is like a third party mod, Right. Well, you can obviously drive from one end of Must Map to Europe, and obviously you can take quite a lot of long time in real time, even just playing the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can, yeah. Didn't, I think, didn't someone say it was like eight hours? Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. To drive from one end to the other end or something. Even with the distances all thing. But obviously, you could get loads of points and loads of money for doing jobs on that. You could do like far end map to like France. Mm. The only thing is, at that point, it doesn't classify technically as uh, Europe anymore. By the time you're over there, you're in Asia. Yeah. But Just you know, we, we all think of, um, and, and it is technically. A European country because it's in the Euro the European Union, but Russia uh, is actually an Asian country because it's on the continent of Asia. Yeah. Even though, well, it's it's on both, isn't it? Because it's on the continent of Europe and Asia. Mm. Who's flashing Euro the lights at me? Eurasia, isn't it? What they call it? Yeah, it's it's the Eurasian plate. Yeah. So how many, how many time zones would you fly for if you were going from the UK to Australia? You wouldn't actually, uh, you'd probably do 12, no it's not, it's not halfway round. It's probably 10 or 11. Wow. Because it's not quite halfway round. It's when you do the Pacific to like Los Angeles to Sydney, then that's obviously where the things change because then you go over the international date line and then yeah. it, it's a bit confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I always get confused with that international date line thing. Right, we, which is the one that you don't have to stop? This one. Go. No, you do have to stop. Ouch. Yeah, you have to slow down about 30 miles per hour. <laughs> you know how I just repaired the truck, guys? <laughs> I need to repair it again. <laughs> oh, no. 
Well, in 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 like the other DLC, those that you they were ones that you could just drive through, and so I thought that was the same. Which is not in the EU. no, it's not. It's not in the EU, but it is. It's in one of the Europe groups. I can't remember which. I mean, one. I, I mean, they're still in the Eurovision Song Contest. Yeah. They're not banned, but and and, and then Israel is as well. So. Australia, but that's just <laughs> don't go into that one. <laughs> yeah, Australia Eurovision Song Contest. Uh. Yeah. yeah, but anyway. In France, the Pagas are not free to run. It's in Eurovision because west of the Urals. Right, welcome to Clemon. I'm gonna repair my truck again. Let's have a look at damage on the back. Nine percent. Twenty-four on the cab. Let's just stop a second, find out where we're going straight on. Um So I'm gonna repair the truck. Now let's back up here. And then I'm gonna d deliver. And then look for the job. And then we're going to Toulouse. Uh, right. Uh, stop. And I'm just gonna ditch the trailer. Gone. Yep. Let's go. You're gonna pick up a job. Who me? Mm. Yeah. I'm no. I just it's the trailer to be able to repair the truck again. Oh, I get you. Sorry. That was sixteen grand to repair that. I don't know where I'm going now, Sam. Oh, it's all right. You realised and went round a roundabout anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually going to go and buy the garage, but it was on the other side of the road. You got enough money to buy one now? Me, yeah. Me, no. Oh, okay. But I don't know when I'm going to get enough money to buy another garage. Um, question for you. If if you employ somebody in multiplayer, do they, do they actually do the work for you? Yeah, it does update. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Because when I I've recently um, redone the stream where I tried employing somebody and it didn't update, so I don't. Yeah, know but it doesn't it, it doesn't update in the same way as it does in single player. But it does it does update. Sometimes you end up going somewhere and then you'll notice that you're money balance has gone up but it doesn't actually come up with that scrolling message and say no, right. someone so done yeah because you get at the bottom where it tells you doesn't it what what yeah. your drivers are earning yeah. right. mm -hmm. that, that doesn't, doesn't come up on multiplayer okay but if you took like a ferry crossing yeah like no. five drivers you'll get about 10 12 million pound it all depends on the job stuff done Okay. It's like it's like for example when I've been driving this, even in multiplayer with you guys tonight, I mean I've literally gone up uh twenty thousand just not even of me, it's just obviously it's just added twenty thousand on while we've just been driving, so Yeah. It does do it. I I don't know why mine didn't work then. Maybe my driver was just lazy. Yeah, but I think at the beginning they they only do tiny little jobs. Ah, I don't, yeah, I don't think you'd notice it much with one driver either. Yeah, but I, I no. checked I checked his stats and it said that he didn't nothing. Uh, yeah, but what happens is at the beginning they kind of like when you first employ a driver they kind of have like a like a couple of days rest before they actually start doing anything. Yeah, because yeah. uh, it'll say they because it'll say they're resting and then all of a sudden they'll sort of start bit like how you started in game first of all they'll do like a little job which is like from the garage in the same town to the next town and then and then as their progress goes on then obviously their 
they get more skills just like you do and then they can drive further and further but mm. but just with one driver it, you, you kind of it's very hard to notice it you, you tend to have to as you add more and more drivers then it gets a bit crazier because then obviously then it's like all the time you just have jobs being updated especially once all your drivers have got all the skills because then they're picking up like 60 80 thousand and then you could like literally do a day's driving and then suddenly you've got like about half a million and nearly a million in your bank account every day. Oh. So I, you've got, like, I long well, for those you, days. Yeah, you know, when you've got like 50 drivers and things like that and they're all, all skilled up and it's just crazy because then you can just sort of like go oh. <laughs> But there's a lot of people that obviously use money cheats to get all the money first so they can do all that whereas I've kind of just been building mine up as is so it's, it sort of makes it feel a bit more satisfying mm, that's what I've been doing yeah yeah that's the way to do it really do it do it like if you own a real company oh I'll have a think about it right we are in Clermont um Fab Diva said 